Yo, yo, yo. What is up, scent heads, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and this is my live stream. I know I'm just starting. I normally do these live streams on Facebook. I figured I'd do one for YouTube because I normally never do them. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wait for some folks to get up in here. So if you're watching this video, this is a live. Uh, so if you're commenting and I'm not commenting right away, now you know. I will be posting this up to YouTube, though, so you will see this after it's uh, aired. I'll also be putting this on Facebook for uh, some folks as well. So I know we're going to uh, just see what's good. Hey, what's up, John Shepard? I appreciate you being here, brother. Like I said, I normally do these on Facebook. Figured I'd show some love here for my YouTube folks as well. And I don't know if you've heard about uh, the the new live stream or the new the new stuff we got, the Encounter Sense, but I'm sure that's why you're here. So, But I do appreciate it. I know we're going to start filling up here after a little bit and uh, do more. Let's see, there we go. <laughs> Jay, what's good? I appreciate you stopping in. Javier, what's good, bro? A little cool here today, man. Uh, in Milwaukee, like towards the area. Hey, Pura Vida Lazaro. How you doing, brother? Appreciate you coming in here, everybody. Appreciate you guys coming in. So if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to let... <laughs> Jeff, what's up? Brittany, how you doing, love? Matt, bro, they're lit. Just saying, let me come over and sniff. I'm actually probably not too far from you. I work uh, 124th in Capitol, so I'm probably pretty close to you, man. So you need to, you need to step. So stoked to hear your take. Oh, Brittany, Brittany. I'm just telling you, super pretty. And what I'm going to do is once we start filling up, I'm at Southridge Mall. Yeah, you're, you're very close to me. What I'm going to do, I have them all here, and I know you can't see them all, but I got them all lined up and I thought the fair thing to do would just go over them really quick I'm just going to run through the notes I normally am not a note reader but I know some people like to hear the notes uh, so they can kind of make their judgment then I'm going to tell you guys and you girls my favorite um, which ones I think they're all going to be pretty solid this is like a designer type of thing so uh, they're meant to be mass pleasing they're not going to be like oh man you just blew my mind but these are meant to be like very Adrian, what's up? These are meant to be like very mass pleasing. Everybody's going to love them. You're not going to hate this set. So what I'll do is I'm going to start with the her version because ladies first. And so I'm going to do the order that I have them. Please recall and share one longevity performance. I will. Lazaro, I've only worn. So I put all of them on when I was at the original event. So I can only speak while I was there actually wearing them. But the one I'm wearing today, I don't know if you guys seen, but I'm wearing the for him. Today, the confidence. Uh, if you guys and girls like citrus, that thing is amazing. The confidence for her too, extremely pretty as well. But so we're gonna get kick things off with. I think we got enough people in here. So uh, the first one I got is the confidence text. What's up? The confidence for her. Like I said, I'm just gonna do a quick read of what the sense are. You know what the notes are. Make your judgment, and then I'll tell you what I think about them after we're done. Then we'll take some some comments too, and. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for one girl and one guy. I'm going to give away a decant of pick whatever you want. I'm going to give away a decant of a bottle for someone. I'll let you know how we're going to do that later. So share this stuff and all that, but I'll probably do some type of quiz or something and give it away. So, all right. So first things first, confidence for her. Again, I'm normally not a note reader. I just smell what I can smell, but the confidence for her, water notes, mandarin orange, lemon, black currant, lychee, which you pick up, uh, jasmine, magnolia, elong elong, amber, and then something they all carry. So every single fragrance, and that's kind of going to be like the signature for Encounter Sense. They all carry white musk in the base. That's something he wants to do. So that's what that first one is. So that, again, is the confidence for her. Okay, the confidence for him. We got here. We got grapefruit, lemon, ginger. Lavender, vetiver, patchouli, sandalwood, benzoin, tonka bean, vanilla. Yeah, inside of a freshie. Uh, amber, and then, of course, that white musk. Hey, what's up, Jay? Appreciate you stopping by. So that's the for him, which is the confidence. I get the two, like, back and forth, the compliment and confidence. So that's going to be something tricky. But the way to do it is this super bright orangish yellow. 
meant for the summer. And that's that's kind of one of the things. All right. Then the next lineup we have is called Seduction. And I see like things popping up. I'm going to try to go back. But the Seduction, of course, we're going to start with the For Her. This is another one. You can see how much uh, was was dented on this baby here. But uh, Dana's good. I appreciate it, Dana. If you're watching, I thank you for uh, tagging people for me. So the Seductive For Her, uh, Floral Bouquet, Peony, Rose, Magnolia, Violet Leaf, Iris, Patchouli, Tonka Bean, Vanilla, and then, of course, that White Musk. Anthony, what's good, bro? I appreciate you stopping in. Taylor. Uh, so that one, this is like a nice little floral. Like I said, I'm not going to get deep into it. It's good if you like florals. I'm not going to get deep into them just yet, but I just want to read the notes for everybody so you can kind of choose yourself if you dig those type of notes. That a seduction for him. That's got melon, Amalfi lemon, roasted tonka bean, cardamom, pink pepper, cinnamon, cedar wood, fiery chestnut, not just the regular. <laughs> and it's got amber wood, and of course it carries that white musk. So we're starting to get a little bit warmer notes. Okay, then another banger, banger line, the compliment for her. I don't know what I'm going to have to buy. Buy them all. Justin, what's good? I appreciate you stopping by. So the compliment, which not to be confused with confident, I wish you would have done two C's because it's going to be uh, tricky for it. But the compliment for her, peach, mandarin orange, lemon, apricot, pink peony, heliotrope, cashmere, which is hot right now. It's got caramel, tonka bean, and then, of course, white musk. Very sexy as well. This is another one of my favorites for the ladies. And then compliment for him. This baby here, aquatic notes, grapefruit, pear, bergamot, apple, juniper berry, ginger, olibanum, amber wood, and then, of course, that traditional white musk. Another super good. So this is another, this one, and so at least for him's and the, and the hers. Both of these are awesome for like heat, like what we got going right now. So both of them that start with the C are good for right now in the heat. I don't know if he did on purpose, but the compliment is more uh, very, very fresh for the summer. The confidence is like all year. I think you can get away with it a lot of times. Okay. Yeah, the bottles too. Actually, that's a good idea too. So just to show the bottle for the first, because I know we're so used to like the duas. Hey, big boy, what's up in Africa, man? I ain't talked to you in a little while. Appreciate you stopping in. So starting with the bottle, I should have done that. So these are 100 mLs. So for people that are used to like the 30 mLs of Dua, this is not them. Okay. So very cool. Super thick glass. Okay. They got a hand hewn, I think he said, uh, hand polished wood. Top. Boom. Boom gold collar and cap and then actually I'm going to spray the confidence since I'm wearing that today so it doesn't mess up the vibe I'll put it right on sprayer solid these things god bless so that citrus is nuts but that's the bottle they all have the same style they just have different labels the different names the whole line behind I asked him when I was in Texas last getting this why he picked encounter sense and why he picked like the names that he did because they're supposed to be different encounters <laughs> that thing got worked over a little bit. Um, they're meant for the encounters that you go in life. So you don't have to really think like what you need. So if you're going out for a date, you grab the romantic, right? You want to feel compliments, something that's going to be out. That's what it does. I know it can tend to give that Jeremy vibe, but he had this stuff before. This has been in line for a long time. Just Jeremy came out with this pretty smart. But so that's the lineup for that. All right. So thank you, Matt, for asking about the bottles, dude. So we got both the compliments out of the way, right? All right, then romantic. This, this is the spoiler. You probably saw if you're on the do-up page, like everybody was digging the romantic and for a good reason. So romantic for her, probably going to be a fan favorite, probably going to sell out. Esther, yes, it does have like, no, not like a drowning vanilla. It has a vibe like uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, and I'll get to the notes. So the notes which is going to kill, kill, kill the ladies. Cotton candy, spun sugar, whipped cream, vanilla ice cream, saffron, jasmine, amber, fur resin, cedar, and then, of course, that traditional white musk. And honestly, so this thing, and I have a picture. I'm going to put it up on Facebook. So I tested all these. I put them on paper. Actually, my wife did it. And the oil content on this thing is, like, still there. Yeah, I know. This, like... That's why I wanted to read the notes because the the notes, like you would buy it just for the notes and then when you smell it, 
you're going to get it. You had to be at ice cream. You have meat ice cream. I almost want to wear this. I know it's a female thing, but it smells like super, super sexy. So that's the notes for this. I expect this one and a couple others, like I said, I'm going to get to it. I expect this one to probably sell out. Uh, the price range, I think he's putting them up for like 80 bucks for 100 ml. Of course, he's going to have the code. I think it goes to like $65 for a 100 ml, which is nuts. Uh, for this size, this quality, and this is just a bottle. It comes with full presentation, box and everything. So, uh, But just to have people ask for duas in the 100 mLs, and, uh, dude, they look so sick, especially with all the colors. You guys have seen uh, the pictures of them. Let's get to the romantic for him because we got to take our men right too. So the romantic for him, bergamot, coriander, cardamom, orange, jasmine, rose, taggart, magnolia and then it carries that same base which is the saffron cedar wood this actually has oak moss and then they threw in toffee and then of course that traditional white musk that's going to carry through it's going to give that vifragra even to this stuff and i'm going to get to longevity too so that's a romantic is there a plan to ever get these in stores yeah anthony i think obviously the whole coronavirus like messing everything up but that's the whole plan to make this scalable so people that's like you can't do that with do it because you have such a big library but this like six fragrances you can set up machines for each one and essentially just pump them out if you have to so yeah the plan is to put them in the stores and then arguably my favorite of the line especially the for him version but the in the club we can't really get in too many clubs right now but in the club notes uh, is cassius uh, freesia rose pear coffee which i know um was a little crazy. Let me see. Uh, any affiliation with Do It? Yes. I'm going to give you a little backstory on it, Mr. Noir. Uh, so you, I'm going to put this on YouTube and I'll put it on Facebook so you can come back and think like 12 minutes in so you can rewind back. But I will do the full backstory. I'm just going over all the notes. Yeah, the projection, everything. So Franklin, the it's the same everything, just different scents. It's still the same concentration. It's still going to be powerful. Yeah, coronavirus is jacked up. But I will go over the backstory. So in the club, let me finish that one out. Uh, pink pepper, orange blossom, jasmine, vanilla, patchouli, cedar, woody notes, and of course, that woody white musk. This baby is solid, too. In the club, it had me at the first release. Terry, um, I didn't know what to expect when I got there. You know, you're, you're just overwhelmed, and you just start uh, getting everything going. Chris, what's good, brother? I appreciate it. And then I got my hands on it, and I saw people hovering around it. And uh, Pearson, what's good? And then I put my nostril up like this, like I normally do. And then I sprayed it and uh, history was made. This thing is solid. So the notes, pear, lavender, mint, blood, blood mandarin, cinnamon, clary sage, tobacco, myrrh, patchouli, tonka bean, vanilla, amber, and then of course that white musk. Out of all of them, so just to preface everything, this is my absolute favorite. So I think it's... It's, it's super sexy, but it's not as versatile. My most versatile one, like this one will be, you could buy, put it on any season. I think you're going to be straight with it. The opening is what's incredible, but uh, I digress. I just wanted to go over the notes. Hey, Chris, how you doing? If you missed or you just got it, anybody who's just joining in, go backwards. Um, we've been 13 minutes live. I go over all the, the notes in it, so I, I normally am not a note reader. Rickman, what's good? Uh, and we're going to have a problem now. <laughs> I hope no one has a problem. Dana, thank you for, so much for, for posting that. So anybody that needs the notes, go backwards. Uh, watch it. I'm going to put this live on YouTube. So I just went over the quick notes, and I'm going to give first impressions. But first, the backstory. I think someone was asking what's up. So this, he's been talking about it for a while, and I know this probably would have been out a lot quicker. COVID, the coronavirus, messed us all up. So finally, we got the first. I know he has another series rolling out as well. But this is still under the Dua brand. But these are going in stores eventually. I imagine next year, hopefully next, you know, maybe first, second quarter. I don't know his whole business thing. But he wants these in stores. Dua, inspired expressions type of thing. Kind of weird in stores. But these originals going to go in stores, things like that. So, But we get them here in the Dua. They're all under that umbrella. So I think Rickman, he's in here. Everything's under that umbrella. He has a lot of different things coming out. And we're fortunate enough to to have him being transparent to tell us all what we got. But that's what this is. These are originals. These are not duas technically, but they're under the Dua brand. So just to give my impression. So I've wore all of them, even the women. I've sprayed them, smelled them, 
my top three men and my top three women. So top three men. We get a Dua and Encounter Sense. Can we get them shipped together? No, Esther, uh, the Dua is still coming from California. The Encounter Sense is going to be in Texas. Going to be, I think, same day turnaround where Dua, they hand pour everything. And, you know, it takes a couple days because it's everything's personal. These are already stored. I did a live on Facebook, too, showing, like, the glorious golden bottles all sit in there. So these are ready. By the time we get them, like, normally Dua's are poured. You got to let them sit. Get a little. These are, like, going to be ready to go as soon as you get them. So that's what's going to be amazing for it. So my favorite three that I smell now, they're all pretty solid, but uh, in the club, uh, it's its so good. This, actually, I'll spray it. So this has like a ultra male vibe type of thing going on when you spray it. Mm. That pair comes through, but this thing is glorious. Um, not meant for the heat. I don't think this would choke you out because it does have a lot, man, in the air too, especially. Definitely comes off smelling a similar like a, like in the club, but you do pick up that tobacco. What is the name of those fragrances? All of these are in counter sense, uh, Jose. They are amazing. Team watches, cologne, second amendment. I need a second. Get a third job, bro. If you're going to pick up these, luckily the price is solid. Uh, 65 bucks, dude, for 100 ml. Uh, for like, Jesus, you can't. So anyway, that's my number one. Truthfully, this is like incredible. I think this one's going to sell out. Uh, my next one, because of the versatility, but more importantly, what's up, Spider? Uh, this confidence. I'm wearing it today. When you spray this thing, the opening with all these citruses are like so overpowering. It's like in a good way. There's so much citrus, but it's so bright and in your face, and, and it just screams like a Chanel Lourish type of vibe tons and tons of citrus ultra fresh and it just pushes especially like the first two-ish hours this thing just goes and goes so this is my other choice which is the confidence sorry there's too many c's confidence absolutely incredible and then the other one both romantics uh, are amazing romantic for him this has a rose note in it so for men that love that that rose note dark dragonite shut out Pelon Jose, who got me in the loop. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, come back and, and check me out anytime. Mm, this romantic, though. For men that love, like, an Oriental-type vibe, that you're not afraid for rose. Now, this isn't rose-heavy, but mm, it just has this rose and this coffee, toffee note. Mm, spider, these are, for the most part, I'm going to go over longevity. Um, this romantics, the both of the romantics last a very long time. They have this base uh, that smells similar, it, like with that saffrony Baccarat Rouge type of thing. Andres Fuentes, yeah, $65, dude. After the code, I think it's like 80 and then you'll get codes like always. So follow uh, everybody on the Dua brand. But uh, Ryan, the, the Romantic projects, they all have this, that for fans of Dua, like you're going to expect the same stuff. The same power, but yeah, this lasts a long time. The seduction as well. It has a little bit thicker of a base, so those two tend to stick around a little bit longer than the others where uh, you'll probably get that typical seven-ish to eight hours um, for the confidence, the compliment, and in the club last a very long time. Like I said, I wore all of them, so I had them all in different spots, but I know yeah, I did for a test. So I wore them when I got there, then warm when I woke up in the morning before a shower, and Vifragra, indeed. Romantic stuck around the longest that I could pick up still, you know, probably 12 to 14 on skin, where it was still there. Some of the others had left by then, but Romantic lasted a long time, and Seduction both. I could still pick up Romantic being a little bit stronger than Seduction. They'd be available in the Dua site? No. Uh, Andre, the both of them, or all this line will be in countersense.com, I think 8-8, eight, eight. so this, I think that's this weekend. Different website, different everything. It's going to be shipped from a different, completely different place. So they're going to be uh, solid. So the Romantic for him is my third favorite with that. Now, they're all solid, but that's my top three because I know everybody's going to ask uh, about that. Then getting to the ladies, uh, again, pretty tough, but Romantic for her. Francisco, the strongest for men is going to, both of the Romantics, both are pretty solid, but Romantic for him is extremely solid. And then the seduction for her, weirdly enough, is a little bit stronger than the romantic for her, but the smell is the best on this one. 
So it's a little, so the, the total we got is five and five. So five women, five men. Uh, he's going to come out with some more. Do you find the peony is very loud? Can't really recall which for her. Uh, the peony, I think, is a compliment. Yeah, see, it's so confusing. Let me see one second. Peony. So there's pink peony in that, and then in confidence, there's, um, no, it's lychee in that. So, yes, yeah, a compliment for her. One second, love. I'll tell you in a sec. The first thing that you pick up, so you can pick up a little, but it doesn't scream. You you pick up a very big peach. Ah, it's fresh. Yeah, the apricot. Mm, it's good. So no, it's not going to be like, oh, I forgot who it was. And I apologize. I forgot who asked me, but it's not over. You can pick it up a little. It's not a, at least in the opening. It's not a bomb of floral. You definitely pick up the fruits a little bit more. The one that's more like floral, I guess, would be the seductive for her. That has the floral bouquet. Please tag the website. I couldn't find it in the door group. Andres, yeah, I'll put a link when I post this up. Um, it's just Encounter Sense, so just like the name. It'll be EncounterSense.com, all one word. But I'll put it down in the link, and I'm sure in the dual brand, if you're in there, you're going to see it all over the place. But the seduction for her, Esther... I think you're the one asking. This is the more like floral. Mm, it's really nice too. Yeah, this is more floral. You can pick up the peony in the seduction. This is a seduction, right? Yeah. The seduction for her, you can pick up the floral. So I think it's just for, it's nice. Okay. But this one, so the seduction, you get more of the peony. Uh, a little bit of the violet. The iris is pretty. Yeah, the iris is turned down a little bit, but it, it's a nice floral. But um, so getting to my favorite. So number one, the scent is just incredible on the romantic for her. Uh, that's my favorite scent for the ladies. I think uh, the notes already speak for themselves. But oddly enough, like I said, the man's last longer. This still is probably going to get you like nine hours probably. But the men's going to go a little bit over 10, 11, probably more than that. Um, any of them have tobacco notes? Yeah. So the in the club has the tobacco and it's pretty prominent, especially when it dries down. And the unisex, Chris, yeah, you can pull off depending on how you like um, citruses and things like that. But you can pull off both compliments could work for either one. I think um, in the club, I think is for him at least is definitely uh, masculine with the tobacco and the, the notes that are in it. But if you like citrus, like, I mean, I, I don't know why, if, unless you're not a fan of vetiver or anything like that, but a lot of them could cross over between unisex in the club. I do think is a little bit more masculine, but if you've wore like ultra male or something, you could probably pull it off if you like. A uh, romantic for her does go a little bit more feminine, and so does the seduction for her is a little bit more feminine, the freshy of the lot. So take it for what it is. So the two freshy spider, uh, both of those C letters, I said a little bit earlier, the confidence and the compliment, uh, both, and this is the woman and the man, but both of them, this, like the compliment, both have aquatic notes in it, and the confidence um, has like the bright citrus. And Chris, uh, I know you... You're going to love the romantic for him. It has that rose in it. It's going to be, it doesn't have that. It's not like YSL Tux, but I know you like that type of stuff like I do with the rose and a little bit of floral. The romantic is going to pull it in, but then it has that similarity to like Baccarat Rouge with the saffron. So uh, that's going to be just fine. But the women are more like women and then the men's could cross over. So that's, that's kind of what I got from this. Um, but take it for what you will. I know some people wear this and they love that so if you are already used to wearing that do on facebook says content yeah it won't be available until it won't go live until we're actually live with that the encounter sent stuff so because i've tried it too and i think you can sign up for the email and then it'll tell you when it goes live uh, but i've tried a thousand times to log in <laughs> with no uh with no stuff so uh so that's my my number one was the romantic for her my number two for the ladies is the confidence for her I think I already said that. Um, so this here just, 
And that thing, it, it, just something about it. Yeah, super fresh. God dang. Ultra fresh. There you go. Rickman uh, just answered that for you. Uh, 12 p.m. August 8th will be when it goes fully live. So, yeah, Spider. So both of the C's get those, but this one here is my number two, I think, for the ladies. That confidence for her, incredible. This is, uh, Francisco, this is the the line for now, five and five. And he's been doing some towards, like, the cooler weather. Uh, he's got a whole bunch of stuff. So this isn't just it. This is just the rollout, the launch. So number two for the ladies, at least for me, romantic number one, the confidence, uh, number two. And then in the club, which it just seems like a trend, but in the club for her, another just super sexy one to follow right along with your man. Mm. This one has this unique, which a lot of women's fragrances doesn't use coffee. And I, I don't want to say it to scare people, but there's like a coffee note that blends with the rest of this. And uh, it has these florals in there and it just blends and it's just going to like shock you, especially if you're going out for a date, it says in the club. And this thing projects like a mofo, but uh, this one is super sexy. So that's my three. Uh, not to say that the rest aren't good, but you know, you have to have the best ones uh, or you have to have your favorites. So in the club, which so in the club for both romantics for both are super sexy and uh the confidence that those are the those are the standouts of the line you know to be truthful uh, and then the other ones are very good the seduction for him and her both they're meant for being seductive being a little sexy being a little playful being out there so they're kind of you know where they go thank you and and just I'm going to be doing a review on every single one of these because they are solid. I don't think none are like boo. I, I think they're all good. You know, I only do positive stuff on my channel, so I'm going to be rolling them out. But the first ones that I do do, I'm going to be doing, not do-do, don't, that's not good. But I'm going to be doing In the Club for him very first, and I will be doing The Romantic for her first. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to give them their own or I split them. I'll figure that out, but... All of them are going to be getting reviews because they deserve it because they're very good. Chris, the coffee note, it like, it throws your mind for a little loop because you're not expecting it. You know, you get the beautiful florals and then boom, the switch turns on and this coffee comes in and then all of a sudden it's just sexy. And not like it wasn't before, but it just changes directions, almost like a 180. It goes from that playful floral and then just boom, super sexy. So think that's exactly what it is do you think all season wear bro um some of them are um i don't now again depends where you live and i know where you live so you're going to be a little bit more open like i have to live by seasons where we are so i wouldn't wear this in the summer here i wouldn't wear this in the summer down by you unless you're like climate controlled um but who knows you can get away i do think confidence for both you could wear this like anytime. I think that's what this is designed for. It does have this bright, it's, it's, the opening is something you have to, to really experience because it is so bright. Uh, it just kind of like throws you right off of your feet. You miss the seduction for him. Can someone share? Uh, no, Lazaro, I didn't get into it. I'm coming, I'm going to go down the line. I just wanted to do my top three, um, what I thought, and then I'm going to kind of touch on each one of them. And I know, uh, so seduction for him, <laughs> Beck, if I only could get two, if I was a man, I'm getting in the club and I'm getting the confidence. Those two, that's, uh, don't even have to think. Those two to me are amazing. Uh, the romantic, very close. So the seduction for him, where's my paper for that? All right. Cause I know my good friend Lazaro asked about it. Yeah, so this one, you get like a melon. So it starts off fresh too, just kind of like the seductive for her. It starts off fresh. Mm. Melon, you get like this lemon. And then now it's starting to dry down. Mm. You start getting like this really familiar pink pepper. So it's starting to come in, start changing spicy. And then I've wore this before, and then you start getting, again, you turn that switch on, and it starts going a little bit deeper, if you understand. Cardamom, 
mm, this like seductive role starts coming in. So it starts off very sexy, very playful, and then it, it changes to still sexy, but not as playful and a little bit more uh, seductive, if you will. I agree with you, Robert. Oh, on the two to get. Yeah, those two, I mean, they're hard to, they, they were standouts for most people. I know Romantic got a lot of buzz too, uh, but it's for, this is my picks and the club is amazing. So, so yeah, Lazaro starts off very, for a man at least, for both, they all play the same role. It starts off very playful and then it gets into seductive. I think some of the, the fiery chestnut that Amber and stuff, that starts coming later. So that, like I said, it just throws your head for a loop. Super good. This one actually lasts a long time on my skin. Lazaro, for you being in Costa Rica, either one of the C's are going to work for you. Confidence and compliments are both going to be amazing for Costa Rica's heat, the tropical climates, uh, Texas, like Julian, I see where you are. It, the hot weather, both of the ones that start with C, confidence, compliment for man or woman, they're meant for that heat uh, right now. Like where you are in Texas, you're going to be fine. Costa Rica, you're going to be fine. Florida's, California's, like if you get scorching hot and you want something that you can pick that's going to work out quick, that's going to be it. In the club, depending where you are in the summertime, if you're going out maybe, if the sun's down in Texas, I know uh, if you're in Texas, sometimes it could be like 80, 90 degrees and drop, drop to like 60 or something, probably would work then. If it's going to be like 75, um, in nighttime, I probably would choose uh, maybe confidence or compliment. I probably even would choose like seduction. It, it gets a little, a little bit more rounded on a date. Do you recommend seduction or romantic? Want to get lucky? They're both Ryan. They're both good. Um, I think seduction is meant for that, but it can be play play. The romantic is just like it's romantic. They both would work. They're hard to choose. Those two are hard to choose. If I was had a gun to my head, I would probably remove seductive and go with romantic. But that's just my own personal preference, and a couple other people agree as well. But um, it's hard to choose. Could a man pull off romantic for her? Yeah, Brian. I'm going to wear it. I've tried them all. It's uh, definitely more feminine, but if you're confident in your skin, you're going to pull it off just fine. And it pulls different notes out, but it does have cotton candy and ice cream type vibe. So it has that girlier type vibe. So if you're okay with that, and I am not one to shy away from that stuff. So if you are down with that, um, you're going to be down with this too. So that's my, uh, that was my top threes. So hopefully that helped you out. I think, uh, Lazaro, I think I saw you uh, say that helped you out a little bit. Seductive for her, Beck. Do, do, do. Boom. This is the one, again, I think I touched on it just a little bit. Mm. See right now, it's dry down a little bit. Mm. Now it, it switched over from very floral heavy to that cashmere in that's coming in here. It's a little bit warmer. Mm. And it smells completely different on paper than on skin. I've put it on skin. I smelled it off of the different women's lady skin. I think my wife put this on too. Uh, she had her own choices as well. Uh, I think she enjoyed that one the least, I think. Uh, so, you know, choose it for what it is. In the club for winter, absolutely. Uh, in their club is going to be a killer for winter time. Um, that romantic would be as well. Would you consider a good bad boy fragrance for this summer? <laughs> that confidence, easy is going to be a bad boy. That opening uh, is just going to shock a lot of people when they smell it. To be honest with you, it's uh, it's, it's incredible. I think, at least to me, if you're a fan of citrus, um, you're going to be a fan of this. Uh, what would you consider a good? We got that one. The dual group here just started watching anything gourmandy or tropical in your opinion. Uh, CPO, yeah. Tropical type vibes you're going to get uh, from both of the compliments and the, the confidence. Now more gourmand is going to be that romantic for him, romantic for her. Both of those have that burnt cotton candy type vibe. And the romantic for her actually has cotton candy in it. So uh, that's going to give you that good oriental, sexy, sweet type of vibe. Also, the uh, seduction can start off a little bit more playful as it dries down, though. You do pick up a little bit of that gourmandy. So these aren't like traditional gourmands. They're not going to be super, super sweet. They're meant to mass please. Romantic, both sides are going to give you a little bit of that feel, I think. Especially if you're a fan of, uh, you know, that oriental, you're going to be in love with that. 
Terrence, what's good? I appreciate you making it in. All right, what else we got? Could a man pull off? I think I got all that. You'd be grabbing these for sure. Spider, I'm just telling you, if you miss out, you miss out. I know he has uh, a limited amount that he's going to be throwing out. So, uh, yeah, I, th I don't know the exact number. I don't know if I can give the exact number. But uh, if you're thinking about them, definitely I would not sleep. I don't know how quick it's going to be to turn around with this coronavirus stuff. Uh, I definitely don't want to miss. Might have to do confidence and seductive then. And the club may have to order closer to November. Yeah. Probably, because um, you can use these right now. Like, where do I, you know, you want to buy a season ahead? Buy only what you can get. But both of the C's, the confidence, compliments can work right now. Seduction, you can definitely pull it off right now. Romantic and in the club, both a little bit more cooler weather type of stuff. But if you shy away from the face of convention and you want to rock in the club in the summer, try it and see how it goes. The site, I think, Terrence, he said noon, 8-8. Um, eight, eight. So this coming up weekend, uh, how's the packaging on these, by the way? I don't have the box yet, but he did show us a picture of the box. So I took all, these were all the testers um, that I grabbed. I told him I was going to steal them from Texas when I went. And thank God, luckily, I do so much stuff with Dua. He was uh, gracious enough to give these to me. But I will be purchasing all the, because obviously I want bottles, or the boxes too. So the packaging uh, is, is professional package. Um, it's all going to come, but like I said, the, the presentation itself, super solid, everything gold, super thick glass, got a little notch. I'm not sure what that's for, but uh, it looks just like anything you'll find in the stores. You'll be proud to have this. I know a little controversy when doing some people love them. Some people hate them. Uh, I actually love them, but, um, I can't see who's going to hate this a hundred. You asked for a hundred mLs. You ask for the, the quality presentation, like, I think it's pretty solid. Must-haves, Beck. Confidence in the club, romantic to me, or must-haves. The top two, I think I gave them to you in the club. Confidence for me are the must-haves. If I only got two out of those, it would be that. If I only picked one, it would be in the club. So hopefully that could answer it for you because <laughs> that's uh, how I feel with confidence being, like, just a smidge behind, but in the club to me, just sexy. I'm a huge fan of that Pete the pear and uh, that almost ultra male vibe. Can you share about packaging? Yeah, I don't have the boxes. Otherwise, I would love to, but I'm sure I'm going to be getting the uh, the boxes too. I'm buying all of them. I was given these, but I'm going to be purchasing the whole line. I just got to have them. I need the box. The tester is very awesome. I was really appreciative, but I'm you know I just want them for. For me so i'll have another bottle i'll probably do some giveaways or some decants or something for this but um and then someone asked for the notes for confidence what are the notes on confidence so for confidence for him i'm assuming is what you're meaning um confidence for him is grapefruit lemon ginger lavender vetiver patchouli sandalwood then the typical benzoin tonka bean vanilla then you have some amber and then white musk through the conf compliment for him is aquatic notes, grapefruit, pear, bergamot, apple, juniper berries, ginger, olibanum, amberwood, and white musk. So both of those are freshies. Boom, how's the sprayer? I know there's a hot topic with some duos. They took better as far as aesthetics. Yeah, I think I did the sprayer just a bit before, but I'll do it again because I don't mind spraying that sucker. I say pretty flipping good if you ask me. All right, if I'm buying if I'm buying of these for the wifey, which would it be? Me personally, and I think I shared it, and we can go, hey, Carlos, what's up? Um, if I'm picking, if it's me picking now, and I know a lot of people said the same thing, the romantic for her, brother, if you give this to your wifey, your girlfriend, like the woman in your life, she going to love it. I'm just telling you the, the notes on it, just hearing the notes alone are going to make people purchase the bottle, but actually smelling the fragrance itself, like you're going to love it on her and she's going to love it. Uh, like I said before, this one actually is pretty solid. Any reminds you of any Dua? Not really. Um, the only one that has it is those romantic have a little bit of the Casino Royale ish type vibe, but it's, it's different. But anyway, back to the romantic thing, pick if it's me, I'm picking romantic for her out of the gate for a woman. I think uh, 
Now, of course, mine were freshly poured, but this thing, like, it doesn't, I don't think it's going to be like 14 hours. Like, the, the seductive uh, that I smelled tend to be the loudest and the longest as far as the women's lineup, but the oil content, and for her, like, lasted the longest. So I can imagine that would stay on the skin the longest, if that makes sense. So the projection, I think, is going to be better for some of the others, but on the skin is going to be pretty nuts. Any dual fragrance that's unisex, are these unisex or plain feminine? So the women, it's kind of weird because the women's fragrance uh, from the encounter sense tend to be a little bit more staying feminine, but the masculine-ish ones, um, they can go both ways, I think. They're more unisex, except for in the club for him, I think is a definitely a masculine, leans masculine. And depending if people like vetiver, if women like vetiver, uh, the confidence for him probably would lean a little bit more masculine. The others you could probably throw however you want, depending on what your woman likes. But uh, any of them, Andrew from UK, I appreciate it. I think someone mentioned about samples to the UK as well. Um, yes, that's going to be coming up. The, there's a whole going to be a whole announcement for samples actually for the entire entire Dua uh, new new person taking over and everything. So, but yeah, you guys got to get the the samples, man. You get you know we can't leave people without that. Yo, the one and only is here. What's up, brother? I appreciate you as always stopping by. Everything. Yeah, Carlos, I don't know. You may or may not even know, but, uh, you know, he's got the new the new Encounter Sense line. Uh, right now, drop five and five of uh, women's and men's fragrances. So, huge amount. I'm sure uh, you will be having your hand in some of these as well because you are uh, obviously a legend. You've helped build, put me here where I am, so... I'm able to do this because people like you guys, you, uh, and of course, much love. But they are amazing. I don't know how much more questions you have, but I do want to do a giveaway. I don't know how many more ladies are still in here, but I do want to do a giveaway for a decant of one of each for someone in the live stream here. So what I'll do is I'm assuming most of you guys are fans with me or friends with me in Facebook or on the Dua brand. So uh, we'll figure out how to do it. But I'm going to do a quit like a question, I guess. I don't really know what I was thinking about doing, but I just want to get um, a sample. It should be really soon. Um, but I do want to give away a decant for one woman, one man. Um, I'll just do like one question for the first lady and first man that knows uh, my daughter's name. I'm sure I've said it a couple times. If you guys have ever heard my daughter's name, type it in there. The first two people that woman and man that says the daughter's name, uh, I will give you guys a sample. I think that's one of the best ways. I've said it on my, my channel a bunch of times and in the page as well. You can feel free to ask around. All right, what do we got? Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Yeah, I can't wait to start uh, doing all of these reviews because uh, there's a bunch of them, but I never shy away from, from the thing. But like I said, the first one gonna be up is gonna be in the club for him. That's going to be my first review because it's the one I like the best from the lineup. And then the first one for the women, uh, AB and Brittany. Both of you guys are right. Spelled a little bit odd, uh, different, but you guys are both correct. So I'm not going to. Uh, so both of you hit me up in Facebook. I got a decant for both of you guys. Um, I do appreciate it. And uh, I may do, may do another. Actually, screw it. We'll do another one too. So both of you guys, uh, AB and Brittany, hit me up in Facebook. I'll get all your info. Another one, I'll give away another man and woman one. Again, whatever choice you want. What is my uh, city that I'm originally from? So now I'm like Chicago area, but I have a sports team that I like. So tell me what that is, and you'll get a bottle, uh, a decant as well, what you want. You can get your own call at Mega Dave. So tell me uh, the city, and I have a particular uh, team. No. <laughs> I am from Florida originally. Jaguar Joe, you got it. That's number one. Chris C, oh, he just beat you out. Joe got you on that, so the mass demand version for that. And then I need a woman, just any woman to type it in, and you'll get that too. Allie got it. She's good. Yeah, Joe, you got it too. Hit me up in Facebook, and I'll get your info. I need one more, uh, one more girl, one more uh, diva. Just type in the name and I'll send you a decant as well. I haven't still seen a woman do it yet. There you go, Brittany. You can't get them both, girl. <laughs> All 
right, so I got Allie, I got Brittany. Oh, so both of those are, are sending me a bottle. <laughs> no, not Green Bay. Brittany, she's crazy. All right, so we'll do that. And then uh, let me know if you girls or you guys have any more. Oh, Allie is a girl. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's a double girl. So AB was first before you. Okay, yeah, you, so you got it. You're right, Brittany. All right, so Allie, Brittany, Jose, and who else got it? Just you guys all hit me. You guys know which ones you are. Hit me up in Facebook and we'll do that. So I appreciate that. Um, for that, you know, just give you guys a little sample of that, just a little giveaway. So I'll do a decant, send it to you guys. That is what's up. Trying to be fair. I mean, you can just send me a bottle. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. So let me know if you guys or your girls have any more questions about it, because I'd love to answer them. Otherwise, we can wrap it up. It's up to you guys and your girls. But I just wanted to give my first, I think I touched on all of them. I think uh, that I miss everything. Dan, what's up? Usually super quick. You're getting slow in your old age, Dan. You missed everything. <laughs> you missed it all. I just went over the new line. Uh, go back and watch it. I'll put it up. Who makes this line? This is still a Dua brand, technically, but this is going to be made in Texas. Uh, that's where I went with the, um, I don't know if you watched it. I did a live stream in Texas. I kind of did a surprise. I flew down there to, for the launch party, uh, smelled all these. Did a live stream there. So it's down in Texas. Patrick, um, who already sends out the stuff for Amazon for Dua, um, his team is down there making these. They're already made of quite a bit of them are. I think they're still pumping them out like normal, everyday type of fragrance. So it's still a Dua brand, Dua juice, everything. But it's going to be made over there where the Dua stuff is still going to be in California. They still have to hand do stuff. Yep. Same Dua customer. So all that stuff is going to be exactly the same. So you're not going to be having to worry about, oh, blah, 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 blah. I heard that this is the same day turnaround um, because everything is live and because it's already prepackaged, they can ship way faster than Dua can because obviously with 300 something fragrances in Dua, you can't, uh, you can't just have them lying around. You'd have to have a gigantic uh, warehouse. In the club it is, Terrence, it's dope. I'm just telling you, you're gonna smell it. You're gonna be like, yeah, you're right. That one, confidence right behind it for men. Romantic is a clear winner, at least for me, for women at least. Uh, just a good step above the rest of them just because of the notes itself, super sexy. So, yeah, that's definitely what I think. Alex, what's good? So I have an excuse. I'll accept it, Dan. You're my brother. You're good, man. You will leave. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is the link. I'll put it still down in here, but I don't think it's not going to be live until uh, noon, 8-8. Eight, eight. So I think that's this Saturday. Is that right? Uh, Sam Rickman and the price 100 ml gonna be 80 something bucks but then he'll have a code like always I think it rounds it down to like 65 ish dollars something like that 12 Pacific yeah so 12 Pacific for everybody's gonna be this weekend 8 8 it'd be in countersense.com I will put the link here so once this actually is is live and put like it's live now but once it's actually posted I can uh, go in the comments EncounterSense.com is what it'll be. Stay tuned. Like with my channel, I'll try to tell you guys what the code will be. Like always, obviously the code will be different from one to the other, but use that. Get your discount. They're like 65 bucks, which is nuts for 100 ml. Can't wait to add these. Didn't buy anything last week and hold out. Mm. Tell you what, you holding out for a good week, Alex, because these uh, are going to blow your mind, especially for fans. I hope to have something up for people to check out by Friday on the site. Yeah, super. I know some people already were going, and uh, myself included. was like trying to trying to see if I could see something sneaky, um, but nothing to see yet. You can just put your email. Uh, thank you for doing this. Based on your top three, I'm buying them all. <laughs> Dude, you're not going to be uh, sad with them. It's uh, it's going to be nuts. I'm I'm buying some myself, even though I was giving them. I got to get the presentation, the box, and all that. I just I'm a collector. So I'll probably end up decanting or I don't know, keep them because they're a gift from uh, from Assam and, and Scott and all them over there. Any coconut? No. Actually, which is crazy enough, I did not, I don't think any of them have like coconut or none that I can pick up at least. Uh, Jose, I see your uh, thing. I'll get to it. I'm get, I bet you are. You need to get this on your page too, right? But no coconut that I can smell. Uh, the only one that comes like, 
similar, I guess, would be like the compliments that has like a little vibe. Um, there's also some melon notes, but no, no coconut, not in none of these, which I would imagine at some point he would do some. I know he's got some some crazy um, summer or winter stuff coming out as well. Probably I would imagine a little bit darker. This is for fans of designer fragrances, mass pleasers, nothing going to be challenging in these fragrances. So it's not like, not like they don't take you on a journey, but these are just very good, easy to wear type of fragrance. That's what, in my opinion, that's what it is. That's what this line is designed to be, be an original, but also like cater to the majority. Of course, not everybody's going to love everything, but majority of people are going to smell these and say, damn, that smells good. You know what I mean? So I don't think there's like bad ones at all. Just ones that I prefer a little bit better. A lot of people are going to love some better. Some people love the seduction more. Uh, when I was there, everybody gravitated to a certain one. So you guys and you girls are probably going to do the same thing. But hopefully everybody gets them. Look forward to my reviews. They're coming out. I'm going to do some crazy thumbnails like always. No coconut. No, not that I smelled. Um, even reading the notes, I didn't pick up uh, coconut in anything. Compliment for him and romantic for the wife. Sorted. Yeah. You're going to be happy, especially uh, if you're in the UK. Uh, I think the base is still solid enough to last, even if it's cold. That's why I say this one's like more well-rounded, where the compliment is more fresh. Med for summer, that com confidence for anything. Anything like Pretios and Vetiver. Not that, not that Vetiver heavy, Alex. This has Vetiver in it. So this would be like if you are a fan of Pretios and Vetiver, you're going to love this one has that uh, similarity with citruses, but not as soapy. This is just more citrus, uh, but it does have some vetiver in it. Very powerful, especially that opening just like punches you in the face with a bunch of citruses. Just boom, boom, boom like that. <laughs> so let me know if we have any more questions. Otherwise, I think we're at 52 minutes. So you guys are still holding together. They're still holding here the whole time. You guys are soldiers and I appreciate it. But I wanted to do this, get these impressions, answer some questions, and now give away some some stuff to you guys that was uh kind of planned at last second but i want a couple people to get their sniffers and i think for people that are in orange county in california um he's doing aaron what's good he's doing a sniffing for this in orange county i think this week so if you're not on the dual brand get on the dual brand um he's going to be posting an address or something where people in california and orange county you can meet up i definitely would recommend it if you're close and uh it's something to behold, especially just to sniff them. How did you get your nose like that? What, so big? I was born, I'm Hispanic, I got a big old nose. <laughs> the OC meetup will be crazy. Yeah, I am I just flew to Texas. I don't know if I'm gonna do the California, but I would love to. Maybe I'll keep it as a surprise whether or not I pop up in there. <laughs> oh, the scents. Uh, Terrence, I literally, literally take fragrance oils and I smell them so I can pick up uh, the different scents. I, I, I have a whole, I'm making actually my own fragrance too, but I literally just sniff different scents on sticks and so I can pick up notes because I figure if I'm going to do it, I try to do it the best I can. And I only want to, like if you notice on my video, like I read all the notes here, but when I do my reviews, I only tell you notes that the majority of people are going to pick up and the things that are prominent. I'm not a note reader and say, oh, this smells like this, this, and this. I tell you what I pick up and probably the majority of people would. So, because nobody... Majority of people aren't going to know what Oli Banham smells like. <laughs> if we ever come to North Idaho, you're going to have to give us some good potatoes, right, Brittany? <laughs> he already posted a tag post. Yeah, everybody, if you're in Orange County, I, I know a couple people are. Put your name in there. Don't miss this like a free sniffing. And who knows, everybody in, I don't. I can't promise none. So everybody that went there got a free bottle. So um, don't know if you're going to get it, but at least you're going to get to smell that stuff, which is nuts. And uh, it's pretty good. When will you do the Savage in the Casino review? Um, that is on the way, I think. I'm still, like, I'm behind. Like, I order just like you guys would do a, I'm an ambassador for Encounter Sense, but I still order and buy everything, like, do it like you guys. So I'm still waiting on stuff. Uh, luckily, I was uh, early enough to get this. If you roll up, uh, do some fish taco spots. Yeah, we're going to be doing some of that if I end up showing up. I don't know for sure. I can't promise nothing. Kelly, aloha. How are you doing? I appreciate it. Uh, anybody that's just joining in, uh, go back. I know it's a 54-minute video, so I do 
that sucks for some people to go back and watch. But I did the note breakdown of everything, and I'm not going to hit them all again. Everything will be in there. Uh, first impressions are through, so if you want to know about everything, otherwise, as always, if you're in the dual brand, hit me up. I'll answer any questions that I got. Every one of these, because they're good, everyone is getting reviewed. You know, I only review stuff that is good, that I love. I love them all. They're hard to pick. They're like little babies. I did my top three of each one, so you guys and girls know how I'm feeling, how I'm, which ones I'm vibing with. You may like some other ones. Let me know once you get them, because obviously no one has them yet. Oh, heck no, huckleberries. <laughs> Idaho is but country. Potatoes are a state bird. Yeah, they throw them. Me and Allie can show you. I'd go to Idaho. Go start a GoFundMe to get me here. You need to do it to make a juicier design, man. Perfume. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I mess with those thumbnails. But I do think that's probably going to wrap it up. I was trying to keep it under one hour, which I think we're going to do. You only review the ones you absolutely love and you hope that we love them too. <laughs> that's exactly right. Um, and I know I get a bunch of hate. People are like, oh, do some negative ones. I don't do them. If you don't see them on my channel, either I haven't got to them or I don't like them as much. You know, not saying I hate them, but... I don't, I'm not, I don't bash nobody. For those of you that missed the note, it's in the first 13. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. How close is Chicago? Uh, like 45 minutes-ish, something like that, just north of it. So very, very close. Uh, in between Milwaukee and Chicago. So we are going to be doing a meetup there this month as well. If things allow it with the whole mask thing. Like when I was in Texas, we did the meetup. And in there, we had to have masks. If you watch my uh, live stream, we had the mask, but of course... You can't sniff it, uh, so you pull them down. So I was like, what's the purpose? Uh, we went eight, didn't wear the mask. So if things allow it, we're going to be doing a Chicago meetup this month. Things are Hopefully things can open up because we and Massam have stuff planned for this to hit all the big cities. Idaho, I don't know. That rhymed. So, <laughs> But I think I'm going to wrap it up, keep it under an hour. So everybody here, I appreciate you guys and you girls so much. Look out for all the reviews. See you on the Dua page. I appreciate the love as always. Peace.